Hey guys, I finally got the new Forever Lock formats in stock. I've been working really hard over the past couple months to try to get this finalized and just make it available for you guys. I got a lot of requests not only for the U-Lock, but for the motorcycle disc brake lock and even this padlock here. Uh, you can see the logos now proudly printed on there and I'm offering a new color black. This black color I think looks great. So I have three colors, red, blue, and black. Uh, if you want to check out each of these formats, just look in the uh, description below and you should see some timestamps. You could jump to any section you want and in those separate sections I'll discuss each lock in more detail and uh, briefly just go over and use it so you can see what it's all about. Uh, if you like what you see, you could go to www.theforeverlock.com. The link should be in the description too, and you could place an order. If you have any questions, just feel free to contact me like, like always uh, through the website or just through direct email. It's no problem. Uh, if you placed a pre-order for any of these locks, you should be getting it soon. Check your email. You should have the tracking number. As this past month, I've been sending out all the pre-orders. So all you guys should be getting your new lock soon. If you're watching this video a bit late and something is sold out, uh, don't worry. Uh, once something sells out, there should be an automatic pre-order button on the Forever Lock website. So um, I should be able to restock these soon. Uh, so don't worry. Uh, I will get a lock to you. So please sit back, relax, and enjoy the different sections for each format. And yeah, I hope you enjoy. Thanks. All right, you guys, here's one of my favorite formats. It's the motorcycle disc brake lock version. And as far as motorcycle disc brake locks go, this thing is just really badass, especially if you could match the color with your bike. But, uh, as, you know, if you compare this with some other motorcycle disc brake locks in terms of just looks alone, this thing is awesome. Uh, however, it does provide extremely good security too. Uh, this one already has the key inside, as you can see. So after you put the key inside and you close it up and you turn it, remember it has an extra step where you have to pull the shackle down. So you pull the shackle down out of the way, you would slide that into your disc brake, slide the shackle back up again, then you can open it up and uh, take the key out and you're locked up. So if you are afraid of maybe someone getting too close to this or you park near some mud or dirt or gravel, remember all forever locks come with a silicone cover here so you can protect that uh, beautiful finish on the outside and keep this uh, uh, free of mud and water and all that nasty stuff. So yeah, this, this version is uh, really heavy duty in terms of uh, motorcycle disc brake locks too because it's uh, like 750 grams. That's 1.65 pounds, I believe. And um, it, it was designed to fit on many, many different types of disc brakes. So uh, the shackle pin here, that's a five millimeter width. So that even on your smaller vent holes on your smaller disc brakes, that's gonna fit. And there's plenty of room in the uh, throat gap here. That's seven millimeters uh, tall and that's 44 millimeters uh, deep. So it, this is gonna fit on a lot of disc brakes. So I wouldn't worry too much about the fit uh, as long as you find uh, any gap or hole on there that is bigger than five millimeters, which most have. So yeah, the Forever Lock Motorcycle Disc Brake Lock. Okay, so here we have the padlocks. Uh, like I said, they have three colors, red, black, and blue. Um, so basically, 
Uh, the quickest way that we found to make a padlock was just to make a smaller version of the U-lock, except there are some notable differences here. Um, let me just uh, demonstrate this for you. Let me get the key and we can talk about that. So first we have our key. We're gonna open up our lock, put the key in, and then uh, close it up. We can open it and you'll notice that the shackle on this is not hinged. You can now raise and rotate the shackle. And we decided to do that just because uh, it's just more convenient for um, you know, the smaller lock for it to not be hinged. You just raise it and rotate it. And uh, so yeah, the mechanism is the exact same. It's just a shorter body, shorter shackle, a thinner shackle because you know if you're going to use a padlock, it's got to have a thin enough shackle to be used on, you know, lockers, uh, chains, different size hasps, maybe for your storage shed or something like that. But it's still quite a heavy duty and hefty lock. Uh, it, it weighs one and a half pounds. So it's still really, really heavy duty. It still has the same locking dog where uh, it slides back and forth. That's gonna be the same on all Forever Lock models. And uh, so yeah, just some quick measurements here. Uh, uh, this shackle clearance here is gonna be 75 millimeters and uh, the horizontal shackle clearance is gonna be 35 millimeters. So uh, yeah, you know, like a lot of people wanted a Forever Lock, but they didn't need a U-Lock. So they said, do you have anything less expensive, maybe smaller, because I really like the mechanism, I wanna use it, but I don't need a U-Lock. So here it is, the Forever Lock padlock. All right, you guys, here's the Forever Lock deadbolt set. Here's what it looks like from the top. The logo, here's the bolt section, that's a one inch throw bolt. Here's the thumb turn section, and it operates just like this. This deadbolt set will fit standard two and one eighths inch bore holes, and it'll actually fit a bore hole size of the smallest 44 millimeters. So sizing shouldn't be a problem for most doors with this deadbolt set. Let's just operate it really fast. So let's say your door is locked and you come home and you wanna unlock the door. You'll open the cylinder, insert your key, and now you can turn the handle to operate the bolt. So now it's unlocked, and the other way will be locked. So yeah, if uh, you leave and you take your key out, and someone comes to try to turn the handle, it'll just keep spinning. It's not gonna do anything. So, okay, I'm, tr I'm planning to get these in stock pretty soon. If you go to the website and it's not in stock yet, don't worry. Just uh, leave me a message through the contact page on theforeverlock.com or you could email me at lockman at lockman28.com and I will get your name on the list and I'll make sure to get you a set just as soon as they come in. Okay, you guys, so here's the Forever Lock U-Lock. Most of you have already seen this before because that was what my original Forever Lock video was all about. Here it is in the new black color. So as most of you already know, this is a quite a large U-Lock. Uh, it's 1.65 kilos. Remember, it's made out of all hardened steel. So it is a very heavy, heavy duty lock. So here's how it operates. You'd insert your key just like this and you can now operate the lock. And uh, yeah, the wide U of this lock can uh, accommodate most things, not only bicycles, but you can stick this through the tire of your motorcycle or motorbike if you want to. So although it functions as a bicycle U-lock, you can actually also secure uh, your motorcycle as well to prevent people from driving off with it. So there it is, the Forever Lock U-Lock. All 
All right, you guys, so here is the Forever Lock Cable Lock. A lot of you have already seen this before also, but here it is. I'll just operate this for you again. The key should already be in this one, which it is. So we will unlock it. Here's what the inside looks like to grab onto that cable. The cable itself is 5 feet long, and the cable is 12 millimeters thick. So a cable lock is pretty useful for many options, not just a bike, but any sort of situation in which you need many options for positions or wrapping something up. Um, so some people really like this lock because it just gives them a lot more options and they can have the forever lock mechanism. So the forever lock cable lock. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions regarding these Forever Lock formats, please feel free to contact me through YouTube, my Lockman28 Facebook page, or www.theforeverlock.com. I'm really excited to be offering these now, and I've been working really hard, so I hope I can provide some locks for you. Thanks.